Okay, so we are doing test number one. We are burning a strip of magnesium. As you can see here, this is my magnesium. We're gonna light it on fire. Okay, so now you can see that from uh, part A of test one, we have our uh, our magnesium, and it's been burnt up. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add four drops of water, maybe a little bit more than that, and I'm going to agitate it. Uh, okay. Um, and now we're going to do a litmus test. So if you look closely here, it sort of looks like a bluish green. So I'm going to do the burning splint test and stick it in and see what happens. Okay, so here we have uh, our potassium iodide. I've measured out about 0.15 grams of it and I'm going to add about a milliliter of hydrogen peroxide and see what happens. Right after this, after I add it, we're going to add, or we're going to do a glowing splint test to see what gas we be forming. So then you can kind of see there's already starting to be some buildup and it'll just keep increasing as we let it sit for longer. So now that we've let it sit for a little bit longer you can see even more of this silver buildup on the outside of the copper. and. You can kind of see that the solution is starting to turn blue, which is the color of copper nitrate. For this uh, portion of the experiment, we're going to add zinc to a test tube like I have here. We're going to place this test tube in the rack. 
we're gonna add six molar hydrochloric acid, a couple of drops, and then we're gonna hurry and put it under another test tube so we can catch any gases that escape. There it is reacting. There we go. Okay, we're gonna do a glowing splint test now. We're gonna do a burning splint test now. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, so this is test six. So in this test tube, I have already added eight drops of sodium carbonate into here. So now I'm going to add a few drops of the calcium nitrate and we'll see what happens. So you can see this white cloudiness, that's a precipitate that formed. And now we're going to centrifuge this down and test the precipitate. Okay, so I have the precipitate here from the experiment we just did, and now I'm going to add a few drops of hydrochloric acid, and then we're going to try to collect the escaping gas to see what is forming. Okay, so we're going to wait a little bit just to let the gas form and fill the test tubes, and then we're going to do a burning splint test. I don't remember how long we need to wait, but... Okay, it's really on fire. And it went out. Beautiful. This is experiment. 6B, so this is sodium hydroxide, and we're going to add some of this copper to sulfate. You can see there's kind of like a blue precipitate that's formed here. 